Well, you know, obviously, congratulations to Penn State. Uh, terrific team. You know, they, they've playing great basketball. They're clicking on all cylinders. And uh, we knew what we were going to be up against today, against a team as hot as anybody in the conference. And, you know, obviously, Lamar had a terrific game. And give their guys credits for hitting some big shots uh, when we were able to put a little game pressure on them. You know, we, I was pr really proud of our effort. You know, a lot of teams, you get down 20 in this building. Um, with the crowd and the energy, you know, you can you can want to get to the next game. Our guys kept playing. Uh, we found a way to claw back to seven, and um, you know, Dred hit a big three. So give him credit, and, and they were ex able to execute down the stretch, get themselves fouled, have some finishes, and then you know, I thought in the last five six minutes, I thought we had numerous opportunities in the paint that we couldn't finish, and you know, that's just where we have to get better. You know, playing a lot of young kids. The physicality, learning how to finish, you know, there late in the game, but um, was proud of our effort, um, and, and obviously, it's uh, it's time to get on to the next one. Coach, um, how would you say that you know Jamari Wheeler, point guard, Penn State? Um, how does he? What do you look at him necessarily when it comes to like a scouting report perspective, and how did you see him impact the game today in offensively and defense? Yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of Jamari's. Uh, he brings a lot to their team. You know, for, very first is his energy. You know, when you have a guy, I've never seen him, whether you watch him play on tape or, or you play against him live, I've never seen him have a bad day with energy. You know, he might not shoot it as well, he might not play as well at times, but he always brings A-plus energy, and that's infectious on a team. And, you know, he's a guy, he played a ton as a freshman. You know, he got a lot of experience. And now, you know, as a junior, you know, he's, he does a great job for their team. You know, he, he gets them settled. He's a terrific defensive player. You know, to me, he's one of the better defensive guards in the conference. And he's gotten better as a shooter. You know, he used to be a guy that, you know, maybe you could dare him a little bit to, to test him from three-point range. He goes three for four today, you know, and hits some big shots when they need it. So I've always been a big fan of his game. I, you know, I think there's a lot of talk about Lamar, and rightfully so, because, you know, he may be the player of the year in the conference. But I feel what Wheeler brings to their team, you know, really makes them go at a high level, and he's having a great year for them. Uh, Coach? Obviously, Penn State shot a lot of threes today. Um, I don't have the exact number, but I'm, I'm wondering. If, yep, there you go. Thank you. I'm wondering if that was something you tried to coerce them into to settle for outside shots, or if that was part of your game. Well, not necessarily. You know, uh, anytime you're playing against a really good team, um, there's decisions you have to make in game planning. And the reality is, very few guys at the college level can guard Lamar Stevens one on one. He requires extra attention. You know whether it's half on man or, or double teams. You know he, if you play him one on one, you're you're going to be in trouble. Not only because he's going to score, but because he gets you in foul trouble because he's such a good isolation player. So you know when when you get in a situation where you have to play a guy with two guys or or a man and a half, you're going to be in rotation. And I think what's really made them a, a good team this year is those guys' ability to make shots off of him. So what Lundy's done, what Dred's done. You know, obviously Curtis Jones, when Myron Jones has, has been, he shot the ball incredibly well. And that makes it really hard because then you add guys like Watkins and Harar that can finish on those rolls, then now you got to really pick your poison. So uh, we knew they had a physicality advantage on us. They knew they, knew they were bigger and stronger. And we wanted to try to do as good a job as we could protecting our paint, which was going to lead to some threes. And you just hope it's not like what they had against Purdue, you know, where they make 16 or whatever they did, because then nobody's going to beat them. So, you know, it's kind of a pick your poison type of deal today. Coach, 2016, 2017, you guys were kind of the darlings of college basketball. Penn State kind of having a similar season um, this year. How important is it for someone who has been through this to, to enjoy this season, knowing, you know, what next year can hold? Yeah, you know, uncertainty. No, absolutely. And it looks like they are enjoying it. I mean, I, I have so much respect for a guy like Lamar Stevens who, you know, could could have left, could have gone and made money uh, playing as a pro, but he felt he had unfinished business as a college player. And, and you look at him, he's all about winning. It's not about his stats. It's not about him trying to be player, all that kind of stuff. He He's trying to lead his team. He's trying to win. Um, I've always been a huge fan of what Pat has done with this program, even through struggles. They were a team that played hard every single night. You knew when you played these guys, you had to bring it or, or you were going to be in trouble. And so when you're going, when you get a group of guys that's, that, that really clicks 
and and is winning and and having fun and, and playing great basketball, you've got to definitely enjoy the moments because the the heartaches and the losing is is tough enough when you, when you don't want to feel that way. So when you are when it is going well, you know you want to enjoy the moment because you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. And they got a really good thing going this year. They got a good group of guys. You can tell they're all in and. Um, you know, there, there's a reason why they are at 20 and 5 and 10 and 4 because they're a really good, veteran, experienced, well coached basketball team. Coach, you guys were up 11 and 9 with 16 minutes and 17 seconds left in the first half. Pat calls a timeout. What sort of changed from there? It seemed like momentum flipped. Yeah, well, they made some shots. You know, I, I thought, you know, they got, I thought their aggressiveness picked up a little bit. I thought early in the game we were, we executed pretty well. You know, I thought we got some, were able to get into some of our motion offense and get some cuts and get some open shots. And, um, and I thought probably the timeout probably just woke them up. Sometimes you play at noon, you know, it can, the first couple minutes, sometimes the road team can have an advantage. I've always felt in an early game just because everyone's kind of feeling their way in an early game. But, um, you know, that's why Pat's a heck of a coach. He, he called the timeout. They got him rallied, and I thought their energy level and their aggressiveness really kind of picked up on both ends. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, guys.